Welcome to our online course on building resilient systems in fragile context. Inspired by the latest guidance and examples from the many partners who contribute, this course will take you on a 16-week journey to reflect on the theory and practice of building resilience in watch systems. My name is Akusia Sapo Boatiansa, a lecturer and researcher in water services governance at the IIT Delft. I together with Juliet Cortez, Assistant Professor in Policy Analysis at the TU Delft, and Karine Daniel, a humanitarian watch professional and guest lecturer at the IAT Delft, will be your coordinators for this course. To help you throughout this journey, we have divided the course into three parts. The first part discusses expecting the unexpected. The second part is about analyzing watch system. And the third, and final part focuses on building resilient watch systems. Each part has a variety of activities, including interactive knowledge clips, videos from international learning events, examples for humanitarian partners, readings, and quizzes to master the topics. In addition to these activities, we will have four live workshops. These workshop sessions will allow you to share in each other's experiences on the opportunities and challenges to move towards resilience, implement the triple nexus, define more resilient strategies, and finally present your concept to it. To start preparing for the unexpected in part one, we will answer questions such as, what is resilience? What are the qualities of resilient systems? How can the nexus between humanitarian development and peace help in building resilience in fragile context? What are the challenges and opportunities for the implementation of resilience in fragile context? For learning about the watch systems in part two, you will take the role of a watch expert team member hired to develop a concept note for improving the resilience of a water supply system in a fragile context. In this role, the questions to be answered include, what are the steps to develop resilient watch systems? What are the building blocks to make watch systems resilient? And what are the possible means for strengthening these blocks? How will you consider the risk that influence the watch systems when planning for more resilience interventions? For building resilient watch systems in part three, we will reflect on some resilient interventions with the aim of improving the role and capacities of local actors understanding the critical elements of the watch market and planning conflict sensitive climate adaptations to prevent risk and build peace. We will assess the course with an individual and group assignment. We'll also consider your participation in sharing your experience and vision for building more resilient watch systems in fragile context. We look forward to meeting you all this exciting journey to explore resilience in what systems together. Thank you for your attention.